Hi, I'm Aki. A minimalist who is a school teacher living in a small village in Japan. These days, I started an experiment to be healthier. I decided to try the pescatarian diet for 30 days. Can I really live without eating meat in Japan, where eating meat regularly is normal thing? What will happen to my body after 30 days? When I was working at a matcha wholesale company in Canada, I was surprised that many customers were vegans and vegetarians. This is because I rarely see such people in Japan. They looked very healthy and lively. That's why I became interested in a life without eating meat and daily products. When I came back to Japan, I wanted to attempt a vegan or vegetarian diet, but I couldn't take the plunge because I was afraid my body wouldn't get the nutrients it needed. Also, I didn't like that I wouldn't be able to eat sushi or tempura, which is my favorite. At that time, I heard the word pescatarian. The word pescatarian is unfamiliar in Japan. Apparently, a pescatarian is someone who doesn't eat meat, such as beef and pork, but can eat seafood. I was so excited because I thought if I was a pescatarian, I could still eat sushi and tempura. Hmm. If I think about it, many people in the Edo period were pescatarians because eating meat was basically prohibited. If my Japanese ancestors could get by without eating meat, of course, I could do that too. Then I started my journey to becoming a pescatarian. At first, I divided the food in the fridge into edible and inedible items. I checked each one to see if it contains meat or dairy products. Unexpectedly, I learned that many products included these ingredients. Whoops, pudding also contains eggs, so I'll put it here. Those that I couldn't eat were put in the cardboard box and sealed up. Then my new pescatarian life will finally begin tomorrow. Honestly, I didn't know what to buy and what to cook. In the beginning, I ate a lot of tofu and natto to get protein, but I felt unsatisfied because I was used to eating meat all the time. In order to distract myself from hunger, I try to eat many vegetables and fruits. Lately, I've been eating mostly bread in the morning, so it was difficult to get used to eating rice in the morning because it was so heavy. I need to get used to this new lifestyle. The first week was a bit hard because I always felt hungry. Every time I stood in front of the fridge, I thought about how much I missed meat. However, my original opinion about the diet was not true. Lately, my body feels great. I feel like I haven't had a heavy stomach since I stopped eating meat. And I found that the more I eat beans, the more I fought. Eating meat had been banned for 1200 years in Japan. This was due to the influence of Buddhism. However, there were some people who wanted to eat meat. There were actually restaurants that served meat secretly. So they used the secret language in order to hide and sell meat. For example, boar meat was called botam, which is peony. Deer meat was called momiji, which means Japanese maple. There is also a record of eating meat as a medicine. So I guess it was like, hey bro, what are you eating? Is that boar? No, not boar. I'm eating peony. Oh my gosh, is that beef? Beef? No way, this is medicine. The desire for me has always been great. In the first week, my stomach didn't feel satisfied. So I tried to eat more fish this week. This was really good and I felt like I was getting full. However, the cost of food got quite high because my town is located in the mountains, which means fish is so expensive here. I used to get sleepy as soon as I finished my meals, but I have rarely felt that way since I stopped eating meat. I realized I can live a life without meat, but I still felt dissatisfied. And I was jealous that my friend was eating delicious ramen and I could only watch. I ate out a lot this week, so I was careful about which meals I chose. It's very difficult to find a meat-free menu at a regular Japanese restaurant. For example, 
Most of the food on the menu contains meat. It's also difficult to ask for substitutions in Japan. Plus, there are many delicious restaurants, so you have to overcome the temptation. For those who donate meat, eating out in Japan is quite a challenge. Anyway, this week I ate sushi, vegetable ramen, fish lunch, and takoyaki. Out of all the meals, sushi was the best. Honestly, I haven't felt hungry these days. I think my body has become more used to my pescatarian diet. I ate a lot of sushi this week, so I'd like to introduce you to sushi trivia. Did you know that sushi in the Edo period was three times larger than it is now? Look at this picture, it's huge. It is said that the people in the Edo period were very busy like it is now in modern Tokyo, so they ate sushi as a fast food. I guess they ate this big sushi like people eat rice bowl now. The reason why the sushi now comes out in two pieces on one plate is because the oversized Edo sushi were so big that it had to be divided into two so that it would be easier to eat. It turns out that if you consume mainly fish and vegetables, the cost of groceries will increase considerably. So I decided to eat a lot of rice from this week on. Although white rice is the preferred choice in Japan today, brown rice is more nutritious. So I've been eating it for many years. Since I started to eat brown rice lately, actually, I've been going to the bathroom more often. Until this week, I would go number two once every other day. But now I tend to go at least once a day. Somehow my digestive system seems to have improved and I feel refreshed. The daily changes in the body are quite interesting. I wondered how much rice people in the other period ate, so I googled it. It seems like it's estimated that they ate 450 grams of rice a day, which is three times as much as we do now. Wowza! I'll try that amount someday. The best thing about changing to a pescatarian diet is that my intestines are in very good shape. At first I thought if I didn't eat meat, I would lose weight and muscle mass. But a quick measurement, that was not the case. You can still maintain a healthy fit body without meat. I'm happy to learn a new healthy lifestyle. And what surprised me most was the change in my body internally. I tried eating meat for the first time in the month after finishing the challenge. But I couldn't eat it that much. No. I don't think I can eat, yeah. I was surprised that my body had a difficult time accepting meat. This experiment demonstrated the possibility that I can live in Japan without eating meat or dairy products. Next month, I will return to a life that is not completely pescatarian. By doing so, maybe I will see more physical changes. Even if I go back to my previous diet, I'm sure I won't eat much meat. Because now I know I can stay healthy without meat. I can get used to not eating meat. Like, I got used to having few things as a minimalist. The human body is interesting. Okay, as usual, thank you for watching, as well as your nice comments. I'd like to post videos about minimalism while keeping a healthy lifestyle. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.